Hi guys, welcome to activity 3.2. You are going to be doing activity Peeling a Tangerine. You're on page 167. Everybody is starting here today. I know that uh, my seventh period hasn't had a chance to check out a book, but um, when I get back, we will do that. You have learning targets at the top. Number one says using imagery in a written response to a narrative prompt. So you're going to be using your five senses, taste, touch, sight, sound, and smell. Please write those down next to imagery, the five senses. Number two, make inferences and predictions about the author's purpose. Okay, during this lesson, you're going to be note-taking, using a graphic organizer, and predicting. Examine the tangerine your teacher has given you. Take notes about it using sensory details to create imagery. So now the teacher is going to put you in groups of five. So you're going to form a table with um, five people. So she's going to, he or she's going to number you off. Five people in your group. She's going to give each group a tangerine. You are going to write down the appearance, what do you see, the smell, once you peel it a little bit, the feel, what does it feel like, and what does it taste like? So each person in your group is going to help um, with appearance, smell, feel, especially as you're peeling a little bit, and then the taste. So once you have your tangerine, please write down four or five words to describe the appearance. Then please write down four or five words to describe the smell and peel it a tiny bit. Then you are going to peel the whole tangerine and feel the outside of the tangerine, the inside of the tangerine. Please write four or five describing words. Then give each person in your group one slice of the tangerine. Taste it. Please write down four or five describing words. On the left, it says imagery is the use of descriptive or figurative language to create word pictures. You want to be using imagery when you're doing this activity. Number two, similes and metaphors are a common type of figurative language that create imagery. Review your notes above and then create a simile and a metaphor about a tangerine. Use the following sentence starters. Peeling a tangerine is like, and then you're going to finish it. So this one says, not like peeling an orange, but like opening a gift box of surprises. So you are going to come up with something that it is like. So simile, you're using like or as. Peeling a tangerine is like. Then a metaphor down here, peeling a tangerine is. The example they have given is a roller coaster of sensory delights, or peeling a tangerine is a gift package of sensory delights. This is both an example of metaphor. So we have simile and metaphor. Please write down one simile and one metaphor. I'm going to pause the video. All right, next. It says, write a narrative paragraph describing the experience of examining a tangerine. Be sure to start with a topic sentence that uses figurative language. So your very first sentence needs to use simile, metaphor, hyperbole, onomatopoeia, something like that. And then it says use imagery, description, and figurative language for supporting details. So you want to use sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell here with figurative language, similes, metaphors, onomatopoeia, hyperbole. Um, include a personal commentary, your opinion, or explanations. Okay. So you are going to write a narrative paragraph describing the experience of examining a tangerine. Here are the directions in your notebook, your composition notebook. You are going to write one paragraph and <clears throat> You need to start with a topic sentence that uses figurative language. So first sentence is the topic sentence. And it needs to use figurative language. OK. 
Okay. The second sentence needs to use imagery. Um, and you need you should have maybe two to three to four sentences using imagery. So you need sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. You probably need three to four of these sentences describing that experience. Okay, so after those three to four sentences, the third thing you're going to do is include personal commentary. So your opinion. Okay, so you are going to write, you are going to have, um, I think you can do this in 20 minutes. I am, when I check them, I am checking for, you know, one full paragraph, well written, very descriptive. Ready, set, go. Okay, last piece. Number three says, examine carefully the design, color, and images in the text on the front and back cover of the novel Tangerine. Take notes in the graphic organizer. So I know the other classes were that you were able to get the cover. My seventh period was not able to check out a book. So here's a picture of the cover. So I'm going to put this up in just a second. Um, you are going to answer... What do you see on the front cover? Color and images. Back cover, color and images. Questions and comments. Text and title on the front cover. Text and title on the back cover. Inferences and predictions. So my seventh period class, you're not going to be able to do the back side because I'll name the front side for you, but you're going to fill out the front cover, inferences, and predictions. So here is the cover. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, I, um, we're going to share our answers for that and see what you predicted it would be about. And then the last piece, your group discussion, which aspect of the book cover helped you make predictions and inferences, the images or the text, which generated more questions and comments, which is more important in terms of marketing or selling the book to an audience. Based on the imagery of the cover, predict what some of the motifs of the novel might be. Motifs is one of our new vocabulary words, and it is a recurring element, image, or idea that has symbolic significance in a work of literature. A novel with the title Tangerine might make use of tangerine-related imagery many times and in different ways. So, you're going to answer the last piece with your group, and then we're going to share answers. Ready, set, go. Okay, the last question, check your understanding. Compare and contrast examining an actual tangerine with examining the book cover of tangerine. How are these experiences similar, and how are they different? So, how are they the same? How is it different? Please write one paragraph on this. in your notebook. So one paragraph, comparing and contrasting the book to peeling the actual tangerine. All right, ready to go.